Uva was always prepared, making students prepared. If he was not prepared for a lecture, he canceled class and he made it up at a different time. Uva was just a, a wonderful colleague. I always regarded him as the true liberal arts professor. He was a man that w was very wide ranging in his interests. Well, Uva was uh, absolutely gregarious, uh, uh, outward going, uh, uh, really uh, interested in what people were doing. He was a very, very special, special person. I mean, here I am, a young new faculty member, interested in making sure my classes were on target. And I met Uva Valtamade and John Booz, who had these visions for taking what the department already did and enhancing it to add more opportunities for faculty and for programming. He basically supported me, or brought me in, and. Uh, got me started. I guess you'd have to say we were almost like a team. It started, I believe, in 84 or 85. Uh, you know, it was a gradual process. They, they applied for a grant, I believe, from the Cleveland Foundation that was the original uh, funding source for the university. Originally, it was called the Center for Economics and Business. But when we lost Uva all too soon, um, we had to name the center after him. And it was the first time, to my knowledge, that the faculty never had an argument, never had a disagreement. It was a unanimous decision. It means the world. From the very beginning, the focus has been on how do we give our students a competitive advantage? How do we help our students connect what's happening in the classroom to the real world? The Walter Modest Center, for my four years, just served as a phenomenal home base. So they have folks that are like-minded as far as in interests that they're hanging out with, uh, gives them opportunities to have an even closer relationship with professors than they would normally have. There are a lot of opportunities, uh, you know, be they scholarships, fellowships, libraries, or different articles we can access. The Walter Mati Center provided me so many opportunities. I just ended up having a full list of activities uh, that I would do with the program. They were like, you can do inter like fake interviews, and I was like, after I heard that, I was like, oh my gosh, like, that's awesome. They made every student a business card so we can give to the alumni and keep in touch with them. As many connections they can have with the alumni and the people that are running businesses out in the real world, I think these experiences are very valuable. What I really see is the center has helped a lot when it comes to putting resources towards students to help them take the theory from the classroom and actually apply it into the real world. So on day one, they're bringing in alumni to talk to us. We're in these different fields. So I'm learning, you know, what is it like to work for a financial management company? What does that even mean? What do they do? How did they get there? The folks are well-rounded. Um, you know, it, it, I think the, the background they have, I mean, you know, they're, they're eager to learn. What they're learning in the classroom, they're seeing it in the real world and they're making that connection. When they come back from their trip to New York City, they are so engaged. After freshman year, we all went to New York and every minute of that trip was memorable. So you're, you're on the floor of Wall Street and then you're, you're watching a Bloomberg terminal and you're watching tick stock tickers roll across. And it just clicked at that point. I was like, I want to be doing something with this much energy here. And it's great to see that Ohio Wesleyan equips you so well to matriculate into these positions post-graduation. I think a lot of the students that select to attend Ohio Wesleyan um, want to be more than a number. This is what it really brings to the students. Um, internships, outside speakers, and, and all these exciting programs like the Economics Management Fellows. Um, you know, it, it's been a wonderful addition. The Walton Modern Center is the reason that I'm in the industry that I'm in and as successful as I think I am in it. I think that if I didn't have the Walton Lottie Center, I probably still wouldn't know what I want to do after I graduate. I did not realize how much I would miss coming into the economics department every day to sit down and help with projects and work on planning events in the Walton Body Center. I had so many opportunities where Dr. Simon or Professor Breidenbach would be like, hey, let's you should go up and introduce yourself to this person. 
over time, having the chance to continuously do things like that have now set me up to be at the point of my career where I can walk into a meeting with the VP of tax for a company and feel confident enough to have conversations with them and introduce myself. I literally was hired Thursday, graduated Sunday, and moved to Los Angeles on Tuesday, all because of, of what the Walton Monty Center did and how the connections got me to Los Angeles, where I've been working in the music industry now for eight years. Well, I can confidently say that the Watimari Center is the place that I feel the most comfortable and supported as a student on campus and really helped me to find my passion for economics. That's what I see the most. I see people who are nervous become professional individuals. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this feeling is mutual, but I left there with um, a really strong sense of respect for all of those professors and teachers and molding students and getting them prepared for kind of life beyond the classroom. It, it, it really is fun because we get to know them. You see them as freshmen, um, you know, all excited, but really not knowing much, almost, you know, well, just really not knowing much yet. But then when you see the polished product, uh, you know, as a, as, as a graduate, see the, um, the, the graduate schools they get into, the jobs that they wind up getting, um, you know that they're really something special. I can only imagine that this uh, has fulfilled uh, his vision uh, more perhaps than he would have ever expected.